When the weather is this nice, it seems as if the entire city flocks to Rittenhouse Square Park. It's where you'll find the young, as well as the young at heart. The park is also the destination where performers of all types showcase their talent. Come along, meet a couple of artists, and find out how they create magic. What's up, Buzz Club? I'm your host, Ben Sue, and I'm standing here with owner Nehemiah of the brand. Neil DeVisa. Can you tell us a little bit about what Neil DeVisa really is? Neil DeVisa was created a year ago. It's a brand for the dreamer, believer, and achiever. Anybody going somewhere in life, they should definitely wear Neil DeVisa. It was created for a mindset of a young billionaire. If you believe you can achieve something in life, you should go get it. You should wear our brand. Okay, so this is one of your shirts. Right. Can you tell us what it says? Success come in cans, not can't. So it basically means uh, if you want something in life, you can get it. We go by the law of attraction. If you believe you can have it, you could get it. So whether that's your brand, getting money, whatever. If you want it, you could get it. So when did you think of this brainchild? It's like a year, like five years ago, but we really started working on it like a year ago. Why is it important that you promote success and following your dreams? Because so many people are negative. We want to bring positive aspect of life out and um, just sell our clothes by promoting and hopefully people live by the messages that we're selling to the world. And I see you had a lot of your family out here helping you today. Right. Uh, is, would you say your family is one of your big supporters? Yeah, they definitely a big supporter. We got a non-profit, me and my Davis Foundation, they basically run that. Okay. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't do that. Wow. We wouldn't do a lot of so what is your foundation center around? Home, we feed the homeless every Monday, we feed youth. Uh, we feed the homeless every Monday, we feed youth, and we're all about giving back and making a difference. Okay, so what's one advice that you want to give to other young people who may want to start their own business in their brand? Follow your dreams and don't stop till you get what you want in life. Thank you for uh, your dreams. If you would like to know more about the Neo DeViso clothing line, check out the website at neodeviso.com. What's up, Buzz Club? We are still here in Rittenhouse Square, but guess what? I had a friend come down, and she brought some of her lovely honey, and her name is Sabiha. All right, Sabiha, say hello to the camera. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Sabiha, what do you have here for us today? It's like a treasure chest full of goods. Uh, yes, I have three different paintings. This one is um, with a flowers montage. It has this stifling effect in the background, and I did this with acrylic paint. It's one of the first paintings I ever did, so excited. This one is probably the favorite. It's called Falling Trees. It's really a play about fall. I like to show different textures, leaves, and shapes about fall. And I did the background sunset. And this one is Wild Flowers. I kind of... I think this is my favorite. Yeah. It's, a, it's flowers, and then I did the background with all in pen and Sharpie pen. And Sharpie pen. Sharpie pen. Wow. <laughs> and yeah, it's just tropical and it's fun. It's fierce. So Sabiha, typically, how do you start any one of your creations? I usually start off just by sitting down and sketching, like a blank canvas, and I just draw different shapes and let my imagination take over. That's usually how it starts. And how long does it typically one of these paintings my I do it gradually, so I sketch and then I outline and then I paint or sharpie whatever. So around about two weeks, this size probably around two weeks because I do it gradually. I don't know, like I thought I was the only one addicted to sharpies. I love like how vibrant their colors are. Yes. When did you dis discover that you actually wanted to create art with sharpie markers and not like your typical paint? 
I, same with you, I love the colors. I think they stand out. I think they're so bold. And I love, you can't really get the texture and the colors you get with Sharpie than you can do with regular marker. So I just really love the colors. So, I see you brought your sketchbook down here today. I did. Would you like to give us a little demonstration on how you kind of create this? Sure. Hey. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> Um, so I start off just roughly, if I was to do something with the flowers, I start off roughly sketching. How long have you been creating art? I've taken started taking art seriously actually recently, like last year. Oh. Yeah, and it just I started off doodling in class. I was really bored in my classes. I'm a doodler too. <laughs> That's a sign of boredom. If Vince is doodling, she's bored. To me, I don't think shapes should be associated with math and something boring and something like people like run away from. I think shapes are cool. Mm -hmm. And I think shapes are so interchangeable. You can put them in different things and just make it look cool right. and free. And so Bihai, where are you originally from? I'm from Bangladesh, which is right next to India, and that's where my family's from. I immigrated here when I was four. Oh, I've been living here since I was four. Yeah. So. Well, what does your family think about your artwork? Um, they actually really support me. Um, they're both engineers, so they, they really don't know where I get it from. They sometimes question like where I get this talent from, but they're actually really supportive of it because, you know, they understand that I love doing it uh -huh. and they understand it's my passion, so they support me. And it's funny how you recently discovered this passion. Some people think that you, you're like born knowing what you want to do all the time and that's not necessarily the case, you know? That's not necessarily. I went to school for day after day after day and I just remember being so bored. And yeah. I was like, let me just doodle. And then my friend looks at me and goes, Sophia, yeah, that's really cool. And really, that's where it stemmed from. So I just discovered this, like, last year. Right. So I think no matter what age, you can have a passion. Yeah, so you, you should, one shouldn't be afraid to follow their passion at any age. No. You know, like, one day you can totally wake up and realize, wait a minute, I've been a lawyer for 60 years. Yeah, I, I hate, it. hate it. Yeah. I want to be a skateboarder. Okay, you can't skateboard once you're like... <laughs> Like a seventy-year-old skateboard person, <laughs> maybe not. But, but I mean, no. something else, you know, yeah. something more practical. You know? But if you knew that you could live solely off these paintings and these sketches and these sharpie images, you would just quit everything and become and just do that full time. I definitely would. Yes. Oh wow. Yeah. Something I love to do. Art is in the heart. Art is in the heart. Oh, sure. Don't take that slogan. That's mine. That's my slogan. Art is in the heart. Okay. <laughs> Yes. Your You're gonna copyright that. I'm copywriting it right now, Buzz Club. You heard it first. Honey said it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about today's youth? I think today's youth with social media and stuff, it can really you have to be careful with that stuff. When I was growing up, that stuff didn't exist. Didn't exist. Did not exist. Like we have now we have kids with Facebook pages like twelve years old and my and brother got a cell phone at I think eleven or twelve and I didn't get one until I was in high school. So it's a big difference. There was no texting, there's none of that stuff. Yeah. So you just have to be careful. I think my art also, like I love to take two things that don't go together and put them together. Uh-huh. I mean because I really believe in equality because when I was little and I first moved to America, I was teased and people would tease me because I wasn't the same skin color as them. Or I wasn't I didn't look like them, or I didn't have hair like them, you know. I was teased about different stuff so that's why as an adult I think it, the best thing you can do is just teach people to accept people who they are and even if two things aren't supposed to go together that doesn't mean that they don't belong together it doesn't mean it's not beautiful that's why I like taking shapes and major kind of putting them together because it's like so opposite so I firmly believe that why can't they go together yeah because society says they can that's beautiful that's really beautiful this is the sketch before I paint. This is what it will look like. Okay. Are you signing it? Yes. Yeah. So, how are you going to finish this painting? I will most likely use acrylic paint and uh -huh. just paint in the flowers so none of the black would show. It'll kind of look like what that flower one looks like. And probably do the background in Sharpie. Yes.
That's excellent. I know you can't do everything right now, but I really appreciate you taking your time out to be here and sitting sure. here and showing us this process and talking with me about everything from your art to life. Um, you know, it's just been amazing being out here in Renton House Circle. <laughs> do you have any last words before we leave the Buzz Club? Accept everyone for who they are. That's, that's exactly what we learned today. <laughs> just accepting everyone for who they are. So, all right. I'm your host, Honey B. This is Sabiha, and you have been buzzed. Be sure to watch more of The Buzz Club every Tuesday night at 9.30 p.m. on Philadelphia's Comcast, Channel 66, and Verizon, Channel 29.